Hey guys, I am so excited to do a tutorial for you. I haven't done them for a very long time and so I hope that you enjoy this one. I wanted to give you a caveat. I am definitely not a Photoshop, Adobe Camera Raw, or Lightroom guru. I am, you know, someone who knows enough to get me through the images that I want to create. But there are people that are amazing experts at all things Photoshop and Lightroom. Um, Damien Simmons is one. He is phenomenal with um, Photoshop. Uh, Tara Lusher. I actually haven't done any of her tutorials, but um, she's amazing with Photoshop. Um, I came across another guy recently. I want to say his name is Dinesh. I could be wrong, um, but he does amazing Photoshop tutorials. Um, also, Flern. And so if you're looking for like the technical ins and outs, why sliders do what they do, um, I would say go to those people. They know way more about it than I ever could. So, um, and the other thing is, is that I'm notoriously awful with shortcuts. And so just keep that in mind. But if you know a better way to do something, I mean, go for it. So this image here, I took on kind of a, a nasty path behind um, our neighborhood and on one side of the, the path, like behind her over here, um, are a bunch of cars, uh, a busy road, and then in front is an apartment complex with another busy road. I really wanted to make this look like it was part of a country path. And so when I saw this, I knew I could do it and um, so I chose to to find a night when there was good light and take her picture here. The first thing I'm going to do is just um, crop this. You know, for this one, I want to take out the barn. I don't know why. I just really want to. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then I actually think I might even take out a little bit more to get rid of this um, area down here. So I'm going to be done and then bring this side in a little bit more. And then I'm going to bring the top down just a tad. So right about there. Okay, so first things first, I'm going to mess around with the um, white balance pre-shots. And I, I have my dogs in the background, so if you hear them rattling, they're rattling their collars. I know I'm probably going to go for shade or cloudy, so I'm just going to click on one of those two but there is one thing I'm going to do that may cause me to adjust the temperature I want to desaturate this image a little bit so I'm going to go down to saturation and bring it down to around negative 15 so with that being said now I want to bring up the um, the temperature just a little bit more so I'm going to bring it up to around Let's try 10,000. This is going to be a very simple Photoshop or a Lightroom edit. Um, the next thing I want to do is just bring down the highlights. So I'm going to bring those really far down. And then I'm going to go down. Um, actually, I'm going to go into my adjustment brush. So I'm going to hit K. I do know that shortcut. And I'm going to double click on effect and it's going to even out all of these sliders. And I'm going to bring my exposure up just a little bit. And I'm going to, I'm going to start out with my brush on a feather of 100, a flow of 100, and a density of 100. And I'm just going to lightly go over her a tad. And that's a little too bright for me, so I'm going to bring that exposure down just a little bit. So I have it at 0 0.63. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I am going to keep that same adjustment brush and just kind of increase the brightness a little bit back behind her, like down in this area. And then I am going to go down to um, split toning, which is a really cool way to just add uh, kind of just colorize your images a little bit. So for my highlights, I'm going to choose, I think I'll choose more of a P2000 
pinkish tone for my highlights. So I'm going to pick 294 and a 3% um, slider there. And then I'm going to go to my shadows and maybe add, I don't know, let's see. I think I'm going to add a little bit of that orange tone. And so I have that at 16 and add a 4% on the slider. And then you can just actually increase the saturation. I'm not going to do that, but I just want to show you what you can do. Um, I'm going to bring the saturation of that pink tone up to around a 5 and also the saturation of the other um, orangish tone down to a five as well and then you can mess with the balance and so I think I'm gonna bring the balance down to around 50 it just keeps more of that warm feel to it and then obviously you can sharpen um, I'm gonna just go up to around 70 for that and my noise reduction I'm gonna bring up to around 25 and then since my image is cropped, I'm going to go ahead and go into um, Pro's Crop Vignetting and I'm going to select Paint Overlay and I'm going to bring my amount down to around 30 and my midpoint, I think I'm going to keep that at around 35 and then my roundness, I'll put that at around 20 and my feather, I'm going to put that at 35. Now the last thing I'm going to do, like I said, this is a very quick one, is I am going to, um, this is probably going to freak out some of you because I know some of you absolutely hate adding blur, but I'm going to enhance the blur that's already in this image. So I'm going to hit K for my adjustment brush double click effect to um, make sure that everything's evened out and then I'm going to hit new because I want to do a new brush and I am going to bring my clarity down to around I don't know let's try 75 and my noise up to around 30. I have feather flow and density at 100 on my brush settings and I'm just going to go in here and just enhance this blur. Like I said, I'm not being super detailed because obviously I don't want to spend, you know, forever on this image. I want you guys to be able to get through it. And I'm actually going to bring the clarity back up to around 50. That was a little too much for me. Okay, the next thing is I'm going to hit new and then double click effect. I'm going to increase the exposure up to about one contrast up to about a 20 and saturation maybe up to a 10 and I'm going to keep all my brush settings the same and then what I'm gonna do is go in on some of these highlighted areas and just very gently with a very gentle hand just go in and um, pop some of that color and that highlight So you can just go in there and just kind of mess around with it like so. In fact, I might increase the warmth of those areas as well. So I'm going to bring that yellow up to around 40, 40. And then play around with the highlight slider. I think I'm going to keep that at around 15. Let me just type it in. Okay, so um, that is um, the before, or that is the after image. Like I said, I just wanted to do a really simple, um, you know, edit in Photoshop and or in a Lightroom. Sorry. 
and we are done. So I'm going to hit done and then that's the before and after just so you get an idea of what you're looking at. So um, anyway, really quick and simple. Um, you know, if I were spending a lot of time on this, I might enhance her dress a little bit more with um, contrast and just increase that. But um, for now, I just wanted you guys to get a little feel for how you could colorize and add a little color into your images in Lightroom. All right. Thank you so much. Have a great day.